Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL 15 and PG Admin on Red Hat Linux 9. The PostgreSQL installation process is same for all Red Hat Linux versions, Rocky Linux or Waraki Linux. Connect to Red Hat Linux. Open browser, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Then click on download. So, in this video, we are going to install a Linux environment. Then click on Linux. Then click on Red Hat, Rocky, or CentOS. See, the latest version is 15. You can install the lowest version up to 10. Then select the platform. If you want to install PostgreSQL on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, then select this one. Now I am going to install on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Architecture is that is x86 64. We don't have any other option. We have to execute these commands one by one. First, we have to install repository. Then paste that command. Press enter. Then provide the password for the current user. See, it is success. Next, we have to disable the inbuilt PostgreSQL module. So, there is no module. Next step is we have to install the PostgreSQL server 15. If you want to install PostgreSQL 14, just give the 14. Copy this one. See, if you want to install 14, just replace 5 with 4. If you want to install 13, just replace 15 with 13. So, the latest version at the time of making this video is PostgreSQL 15. Then, give the PostgreSQL hyphen contrib, then PostgreSQL 15 client. So, there is no client. So, I am removing this PostgreSQL client, then press enter. So, it is downloading and installing without confirmation because here we have given hyphen y flag. If you don't give, we need to enter manually. So, PostgreSQL 15 has been installed successfully. Now, we have to initialize the DB by running the command this one that is init DB. Clear the screen. Initializing database is success. Now check whether PostgreSQL server service is running or not by running the command system ctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 15. See, it is not running. See the status inactive or dead. Okay. Now, also notice here, it is disabled. First, we are going to enable this PostgreSQL service by using same system CTL command. Why? Whenever Enterprise Linux has rebooted, then PostgreSQL server 
service will be automatically started by enabling this service. First enable the service. sudo systemctl enable postgres equal 15. It's a success. Now start the postgres equal service. sudo systemctl start postgres equal 15. It is success. Let's verify. systemctl status process equal 15 see it is active and running before it was inactive and dead okay now we have successfully enabled and started the postgresql service now we are going to secure the postgresql super user that is postgres by running the command sudo pass wd postgres Then provide the password for the Postgres user. We have successfully set the password for Postgres user. Now switch to Postgres user. Now connect to Postgres SQL server by using the command tsql. See, we have successfully connected to Postgres SQL server. Now change the password for the Postgres user that is postgres alter user postgres with password you can give the strong password we have set the password for the user postgres whatever the commands i am going to execute in this video are available in the video description as well Copy the first command that is enabling the repos. Use this sudo. Type and enter. This installed successfully. Clear screen. sudo Now install the pjadmin4. Type and enter. Type and enter. See, we have successfully installed pgadmin on Red Hat Linux. Now we have to start the httpd service by running the command sudo systemctl start httpd. Let's verify whether it started or not. See, it is started. Now enable auto start by running the command sudo systemctl enable httpd. Now we have to open pgadmin. 
activities then applications see pj admin is here if you are unable to find here search here pg admin then click on this application now we have to set the password for pg admin give anything and remember it now we have to connect to our postgres server from the pg admin see there are no servers right click and select register then server here provide the name for the postgres equal server local server anything then go to connection tab here provide the host name or ip address host name is localhost port is 5432 user maintenance database is postgres username also postgres then provide the password for this postgres user then click on save see server has been added expand this one then expand databases see there is only one database let's create another database and verify sudo su postgres Yes, let's create a database. Test one, two, three. Database has been created successfully. Let's see whether these changes are reflecting in PG admin or not. But see, it's still only one database. Right click on databases and click on refresh. See, new database has been added. In the same way, right click here and create database. Test 3 to 1. Then click on save. See, database has been created. Let's verify here also. Slash L. See, there are two user databases. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to install PostgreSQL Server 15 and pgadmin4 on Red Hat enterprise linux 9 operating system for more postgresql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you